Hello world, the SolarWinds hack, possibly the most remarkable hack in years, has been referred to as IT's Pearl Harbor, with some even considering it an act of war. The supply chain attack targeted cybersecurity software sold by the company SolarWinds. The hackers implemented a Trojan horse in the very software that was meant to keep organizations safe. This enabled hackers total access to SolarWinds' thousands of customers, which included various US government agencies, as well as most Fortune 500 companies. This hack has largely been attributed to Russian state-sponsored hacker group Cozy bear. However, new evidence shows that Chinese hackers may have also had a role to play in espionage, in particular in the form of the Spiral hacking group. But what makes researchers suspect the involvement of China? Well, it would seem the hackers messed up and left a trail of breadcrumbs, leading right backs themselves. But can we treat these breadcrumbs as genuine, or was this slip up really just an elaborate bluff? That's coming up in this video where we break down and dissect cybersecurity related tech news. The SolarWinds hack has two main components, Sunburst and Supernova. Sunburst was the first to come to light. It refers to the extraordinary supply chain attack which targeted SolarWinds Orion software. It's unclear at this time exactly what the initial attack vector was, though somehow attackers managed to inject malicious code directly into Orion software updates. These software updates were digitally signed with genuine SolarWinds certificates, meaning companies and government agencies installing these updates had no idea they were in essence unwittingly inviting state-sponsored hacking groups into their networks. Sunburst has been tied to Russia. However, a few days after Sunburst emerged, the supernova malware surfaced. Supernova is the one we're interested in here. Up until a few days ago, details of its origins were largely unknown. At first, it was assumed to have been related to Sunburst. However, we now know that whilst it targeted the same SolarWinds software, it works very differently, so it's thought to have been authored by a different group to Sunburst. Sunburst and Supernova are two different attacks from two different groups. Recently, SecureWorks, a cybersecurity services company, detected a hack perpetrated against one of their clients involving Supernova. This is the instance of Supernova we're going to be looking at, as it reveals some interesting clues as to Supernova's origins. Exactly who the victim was in this case, whether private company or government agency, remains unclear. SecureWorks has dubbed the group behind this intrusion Spiral. Spiral has no history before this hack. It could just be an already existing hacking group rather than a brand new one, but hey ho, they're calling it Spiral, so Spiral it is. Spiral exploited a zero-day authentication bypass vulnerability in the SolarWinds Orion API to write a web shell to the victim's computer. A web shell essentially gives attackers a command line interface to a target PC accessible remotely over the internet. Attackers then conducted reconnaissance on the victim, obtained credentials from running processes, and dumped these to a TXT file from which they were exfiltrated. Exactly what these credentials were for, and if any intellectual property was stolen, remains unknown. SecureWorks' report sadly doesn't give us the juicy details. The victim will have been one of their customers, so they'll be under a strict confidentiality agreement. This attack has been linked to another intrusion with the same victim a few months prior. Previously, attackers infiltrated the network via a vulnerable server running customer service related software. Much like in the supernova hack, they went on to harvest credentials. Back then, SecureWorks' leads ran dry. They were unable to pinpoint the source of the hack. However, this supernova incursion and the previous campaign bore many similarities. Logs show that many of the commands used in both hacks were identical, and the same directory was used as a base of operations. In addition, exactly the same admin accounts was compromised in both campaigns. So they managed to connect the dots to the previous hack. That's all well and good, but how did they make the connection to China? We'll explore that right after you smash the like button for the YouTube AI. Thanks. The researchers noted that Chinese hacker groups have previously been involved in gaining access to networks via the same customer service software and share the raison d'etre of maintaining access to compromised systems for as long as possible in order to periodically harvest credentials, exfiltrate data, and engage in espionage of intellectual property. However, these are all circumstantial and aren't enough to tie Spiral with China. However, in this latest hack, like I mentioned in the intro, the hackers tripped up. The researchers noted a connection to their servers from an unknown computer. It's theorized that the hackers grabbed an installer for certain cybersecurity software from the victim network in order to conduct analysis on it. However, the perps didn't realize that by running this installer on one of their own PCs, it would ping SecureWorks' servers. The IP address that pinged their servers was based in China. In addition, the host name of the connecting computer closely resembled that of the attacker in the supernova hack. This lends a lot of credence to the notion that this hack originated in China. However, it could of course be one brilliantly executed bluff. 
Speaking of things that are brilliantly executed, Maltronics is a website run by myself where you can find an array of super cool pen testing products. Our gear is used in over 100 countries and you can get 10% off with code Satonic. If you want to see more of this kind of video, make sure to let me know in those comments. Might as well hit like and subscribe whilst you're down there. Also, for behind the scenes footage, do make sure to follow me on Instagram. As always, sources will be linked in the description. Stay tuned for more hacking videos and have a good one.